In the digital world, the single transaction doesn't really get you far. It's about building an artist-fan relationship. My name is Jörn. I am the CEO of Soundrop and I care about music and technology and marketing in a digital space. That's been my whole career. Uh, previously in my last position at Warner, I've been working my whole life with the digital music. So that's what I'm passionate about and that's where I think I can contribute. Soundrop started in 2011 uh, as a social listening service within Spotify. We built a really cool uh, social listening experience where people could uh, check out music together with other people, um, uh, vote on tracks and, and just have a, have a good, good social experience really. And it really caught on and it was a cool thing. And we also expanded it to Deezer as well as a beta version with YouTube. Um, and that was a really good project. It's still, uh, still running and it allowed us to go deeper into what we really care about, which is the relationship with, between artists and fans and the, the space of promoting and marketing your music uh, effectively. And that led us to start building Shodako. We started building it in, in uh, January this year, and our goal was to figure out how we can help artists and labels, and management companies, agencies, how we can help them promote and market their music more effectively because we saw there were some big gaps in, in how that's being done today. We thought we could make an effort and we thought we could make a difference. Well, our view on this was that uh, there are many players, but none have really thought about the modern way of consuming music and certainly not the way music lives uh, out, out on the web where people actually discover music. We, we thought that this was built too much on, on the premise of the older music industry. and. Uh, that's where we thought that, you know, let's make a tool that really helps people uh, build artist, uh, artist and fan relationships through digital streaming. And let's do something that really understands the, um, the quickness of, of discovering new songs. It needs to happen right there and then where the user is and on the user's premise. So uh, we thought there wasn't really a good frictionless experience available. There wasn't any tool that really focused on what's happening now, the campaign aspect of it, uh, what, you're, what you're doing right now. Um, other tools were more or less, this is a static landing page where you could, you could do something or, I mean, the old way of uh, doing things. Essentially, we help, uh, we help you create a landing page and a destination for your content. Uh, that's a landing page or it's a widget or it's a show, social post. Basically, wherever you share this URL, that's where uh, the music and the experience takes place. Because we believe that if you remove uh, all the levels of friction and just make sure that the content really hits the user first, then you trust on the very best thing you can actually promote, which is your own content. It's not talking about it, it's not saying that if you just log into this app or download this thing or do something else crazy, you get to access it. Just Here's the music, start playing. And then when you start playing, you get people hooked. That's when we can surface more interesting calls to action like uh, follow this artist on SoundCloud or save this track to your Spotify playlist or do any of those things that really make, it, make a difference. And that also relies upon the fact that you're listening to the song now. So that means you're hooked. Well, we think that uh, once you're doing something, it's about doing it right now. And, uh, and it's really capturing whatever momentum you've got going uh, right now. Uh, the good thing about our weekly pricing is that, uh, I mean, once you paid for a campaign, the campaign stays up. Uh, and that means that there are no broken links. Uh, the content will be there. Uh, what we remove essentially after you, you stop paying is, is uh, the analytics part of it. So you don't get to see uh, what happens with it uh, in a detailed way. And you also don't get the calls to actions, etc. But the content is still there. So uh, that means that it's a safe uh, thing for people to do. And we also believe that um, with our way of looking at things, it, it fits really well with whatever happens now as in uh, a Twitter post. It, has, it hasn't got a long shelf life. Uh, a blog post uh, somewhere, it really is read right now. It, perhaps someone will read it in six months from now, well, they'll still get the music, but whatever happens now is what's important.
Well, actually, we've seen customers from all over uh, try our product and, and pay for the product. And we think that's really cool because we believe that what we've built, it applies equally as much to Universal, who's trying it, as well as small independent artists who are struggling to get their very first streams on Spotify. Uh, the, cool, the cool thing about what we're doing is we're, we're saying that this is um, a smart way of taking care of your online presence and, and that you actually own the space that you send people to. So it's about, it's about uh, making sure people understand the value of data and data collection and, and taking a responsibility in that. Because we believe that in the digital world, the single transaction doesn't really get you far. It's about building an artist-fan relationship. And that needs to uh, be built over time, which means that for every bit of communication you do and for every bit of, uh, of planning you do, make sure you grab the data that's there. Make sure you grab the engagement that you can. Make sure that you serve your fan base. And we think we build an awesome tool to do that. And it's equally good for the big labels as for the small agencies, because they all care about the same thing. It's to promote and market their music. And it's to get real results. That's what our tool does.